As someone who has played Genshin Impact for over a year, I'm here to tell you the problems that I see in Genshin Impact and the way to improve them. I will be brutally honest. Genshin has a lot of content to offer, especially for new players, and the game itself is fun. Even if you do 50% of the game, there is still more to do. The problem is when you reach the end game because after you reach the end game there isn't much to do except for waiting for updates, wishing, doing sparrow base, using resin, doing events if there are any, exploring if you haven't done it yet, doing something in the serenity pot, joining other players and playing TCG. Who even plays that? The game needs more things. So here are things Genshin Impact needs to add. Starting off with replayable events. They should allow us to replay events and maybe even make an event that is permanent. That gives us rewards and resets like the Sparrow Abyss. We need more endgame content. Second, they should add a way to quickly change artifact sets between characters. Third, they should add more ways to get fragile resin. The more the better. Or they need to add a faster way of getting the materials that we need. That will be a huge time savior. Fifth, they need to add better rank up rewards because it takes a long time to reach level 60 and the rewards for that are underwhelming. And honestly, they should rise the max level to 70. Sixth, they need to add a way to craft our artifacts, to pick which set we want and to choose the stats. And lastly, add a skip button. At least for the side quest. I am not gonna pretend like the game is perfect. There are the goods and the bads like in any game. The game can improve and can become better, as it has a lot of potential. The lore is good, that is true, but also the characters feel lifeless because they have almost no facial expressions. Like, damn, give them some face expressions. It doesn't bother me that much, but I feel like it would be a nice touch to animate them a bit more. Or like the way they did it, to add more cutscenes, those are cool. Now let's talk about the community. Oh boy. To start off, I don't think the whole community is a problem. As just like in any game, there are the good and chill players and the bad and toxic ones. The community is just represented by the bad ones mostly. That leads to everyone else to believe that anyone who plays Genshin Impact is the same. Which is not true. Genshin Impact needs to change, but that won't happen overnight. We just need to keep saying our opinion about the stuff that we dislike about it they can improve it hopefully in the next update. Overall Genshin Impact is a good game worth millions, but it can be a great game worth billions and that is what I want it to be. Thank you all so much for watching, you can tell me your opinion down below and if you like the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe, it will help me a ton, I really appreciate it. I wish you all the best and I will see you in the next one.